What is up designers, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to create lens flare effect in Photoshop. So lens flare is a great effect if you want to add a little more power to your photographs. As you can see the before image is a pretty simple basic image that doesn't really speak much but when you add the lens flare it really brings it out and makes it a bit more special so to speak. So let's get into it and I'm going to teach you how to do it, okay? So first of all, I'm going to delete the lens flare so we can start over and uh, yeah. So first thing you want to do is create a new layer, Control or Command Shift N and call it Lens Flare. If you want to create a new layer differently, you can just click here on this icon and it's gonna create a new layer as well but I like to use my keyboard shortcuts it's much faster and I recommend it as well so once you create the lens flare just double check that your color here is black so the foreground color needs to be black and then press alt or option backspace that's gonna fill up your layer with black color or whatever color you have here but just make sure it's black because we need the black color next step is just double check that you are selecting the lens flare layer and then go to filter, render, lens flare. This is the lens flare menu and you can just adjust your lens flare here. It's really simple. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you might have different options selected. So these are like different effects, but I'm going to go with the 105 millimeter prime that it says. You can also adjust the brightness and I'm going to leave it at 110. So I'm going to press OK and here we are, we have the lens flare. Now the next step is to change the blending mode from normal to screen. The screen blending mode just removes all the blacks and leaves all the brightness. So that's what we want. So basically this is the result. However, let's adjust it a little bit more to make it look even better. So I'm going to reduce the opacity just so it blends in with the image a little bit better. And next up. I don't quite like the blue area here, so I'm just going to remove that by adding a layer mask. You can add the layer mask by pressing down this little Japanese flag here, and then press B to select your soft brush. Double check that the hardness is set to zero, and I'm just going to go over and color this area out to remove the blue color. Another thing we can change on the lens flare is the color. So just click your lens flare, making sure that the layer is selected, and then press Ctrl or Command U on your keyboard. That's gonna bring up the hue saturation menu and we can use the hue slider to change the color of the lens flare. Now notice here how the color changes and affects the mood of the picture. It totally changes what the image is saying. I like the orange color, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Press OK and there we have it. So that was before and that's after and then without and with totally different effect. We can actually move this around. So if you press Ctrl or Command T on your keyboard while you have your layer selected and then right click this area, flip horizontal, flip vertical. You can just flip through it and see which one fits the best. I think I'm going to go for this or maybe this one. Yeah, that looks good. So the original one was fine. Okay, so cool. That's pretty much it about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow. And if you like this content and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to receive all my upcoming videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.